beat the door, I'll fill my report. Oh, but you can't tell them. The line's dead. <coughs> what? Since when? The line's dead. Major Metcalf tried it just after you arrived. Well, it was working fine earlier. Superintendent Hope and got through all right. Oh, I suppose since then the lines have been down in the snow. I wonder. It may have been cut. Cut? But who could have cut? Mr. Ralston. Just how much do you know about these people who are staying in your guest house? Uh, we, we don't really know anything about them. Uh -huh. Mrs. Boyle wrote from a Bournemouth hotel. Uh, Major Metcalf from the... Uh, where was it? At uh, Remington Garden. Ren wrote from Hempstead and the Caseware woman from a private hotel in Kensington. Paravicini, as we told you, turned up out of the blue last night. <laughs> Still, I suppose they've all got ration books, that sort of thing. Yes, yes, we'll be getting to that, of course, but you do realize there's not much reliance on that sort of evidence. But even if this crazy, homicidal maniac might turn up here and try to kill us all, or one of us, we're, we're quite safe now, right? Because well, no one can get in or out until the snow melts. Unless he's here already. Here already? Why no? All these are guests arrived here yesterday evening, sometime after the murder. Any time to get here. But well, except for Mr. Padicini, they don't walk beforehand. Why no, Mr. Ralston, these crimes were planned. Crimes? There's only been one crime in Culver Street. Why are you so certain there'll be another here? That there'll be another murder here? No, no, I don't prevent that. That would be a tempting guess. I can't believe it. It's too fantastic. It's not fantastic, it's just the facts. But you've got a description of what this uh, man looked like in London, right? Yes, I have a description. Medium height, indeterminate build, darkish overcoat, face hidden by a muffler, spoken a whisper. No, there's three darkish overcoats in there. One of the jaws, Mr. Ralston. And there's three soft down hands as well. I can't believe this. You know what worries me is this telephone line. It's been cut. I, I must go to the kitchen and um, get on with the, the vegetables. In the vegetables. Uh, Human extension. I beg your pardon, Sergeant. Did you say something? Yes, <coughs> Mr. Ralston, I ask you if you had an extension. Yes, I've been out bedroom. Would you please go upstairs and try it for me? Thank you. 